guys, my name is Sonia Dutch. So welcome to Step Flicks. I'm going to teach you basic salsa, salsa for beginners. First, I want to explain to you what is the salsa timing. In salsa, we count eight counts, but also to make it easy for you, we can do it also in three counts. So the first thing you have to learn is that you have to count one, two, three on one side with one leg and then one, two, three on the other side. Sometimes in the salsa world, we count it eight. So it would be one, two, three, five, six, seven, which is the same thing, but to make it easy for you, we're gonna count it three times. Ready? So this is how it goes. We open one leg, one, we step on two, and we bring it together on three. And we're gonna do that the same way on the other side. Are you ready? Here we go. In one, two, and three. Now it's very important when you're dancing salsa to see where's your center. So you always have to come back to your center on the three count. Watch. We go one, we step on two, and we go back to center on three. This is very important because when you're dancing with your partner, you want to be totally aligned with your partner when you're dancing. So we are going to do it again. Ready? Here we go. One, two, and three. And the same thing on the other side. One, two, and three. In salsa, there is many directions that you can dance with the basic step. So right now we did it side to side. Using one leg to the side, two, and three, and the other side, one, two, and three. We're going to do the same thing, but this time going back and forth. And actually, this is the name of a basic salsa move. Going back to the right, step two, come back three, and we're going to do the same thing, going forward with the left. So we go one, two, and three. To make it easy for you, it would be a very good tool if you can find any object and you put it right on the floor and that will guide you where is your center. So once again, we're going to go sideways first, one, two, and three, and the same thing on the other side, one, two, and three, and we're going to go back, one, two, and three, and we're going to go forward, one, two, and three. When you're dancing salsa, it's very important not to move your upper body. The only thing you have to move is comes from your waist down. So let me show you. When you make a step to the side, your hips go together with the leg, you step again, and you put it together. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. To the left, and step, and put it together. So let me show you what would be the counting of those steps. We're gonna go one with the right, two is a step center, and three going back. And again, you don't move anything from the upper body. Watch, and one, and two, and three. Of course, for the girls, we move a little bit more the hips to make it more beautiful. So, this is how it goes. For the ladies, we go hip, and two, and three, and one, two, and three. The same thing going back and forth. So when we go the basic salsa and go one, two, three, and then going forward, one, two, three. Remember, nothing moves on the upper body. Here we go. One, two, three, and going forward, one, two, three. Once again, for the ladies, let's move a little bit the hips so it's beautiful. Here we go. And hips. And one, two, and three. So we're gonna combine both directions. We're gonna go sideways and we're gonna go back and forth. Here we go. Sideways, one, two, three, other side, and one, two, three, going back, and one, two, three, going forward. One, two, three. Very good. So remember in salsa, there is a rule. Never repeat the same leg. So this is gonna help you to make the transition from the side step to the back and forth. Watch. If you go side, come back, center, and you go side, 
come back centered. The last one was your left leg. That means that you start back and forth, you're gonna use your right leg. So watch. One, two, three, that was my right. One, two, three, that was my left. And I have to do right. One, two, three, going forward to the left. One, two, three. So as you can see, I made the transition without repeating the same leg. We're gonna do it again, ready? And one, two, three, that was my right. And one, two, three, that was my left. So I have to go with the right, going back. One, two, three, and forward to the left. One, two, three. If you wanna make it a little faster, I'm gonna show you how it looks. Hey, one, two, three. One, two, three, going back. One, two, three. One, two, three. When you're dancing side side, it's very important the position of your hands. So the hands, they're going to go too far apart from your body. They have to be close. You have to bend your elbows, keep it soft, very low on your shoulders so it looks smooth and not too much opening. So the position on the arm has to be to your ribcage level right here and always keep it there to move. So the way we we'll look, your upper body combined with the lower body will look like this. Always keeping your hands to the ribcage, other side. Good. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Keeping your arms very close to your body. And one, two, three. The same thing when you go back and forth. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good.